Most likely from the deposits of Mount Mulanji in Malawi, a quartz crystal with some uh, feldspar uh, crystals growing on it. Now, a reason for my selection here, this, the whole specimen is totally infiltrated by tiny needles of Rebekite asbestos, which would be blue-green. Think of tiger's eye and think of the blue tiger's eye, and that's basically what you'd have without the light play sitting inside these, this, this crystal and compact thick needles of it. Uh, when you look through some of the sections like there, you'd actually see it all with strong lighting from behind. The general color is almost that blue-green of the whole crystal. Crystal is doubly terminated, so all that you see inside there under magnification, you'll see it's fine bushes of needles. Crystal is doubly terminated. Here's the second termination. Almost some... Um, what do you call it, the, the quartz formation, uh, uh, little quartzes sitting on uh, on the outside over here. Um, look at that. When you look through some of the edges, you can actually see clarity going through, and under magnification, you'll find that it's little bushes of needles. Barnacle quartz is what I was thinking of here. So a little bit of the barnacle quartz effect down that side. Maybe some traces of Ageryne or Gerthite here too. But from a display point of view, I prefer this angle, so I'd have the crystal on top like this, going around like that. All the way from Mount Mulanji in Malawi, uh, Rebekite, Quartz and Feldspar.